I'm very tanned. Pillow Talk! Hey guys, welcome back to Pillow Talk Monday. So this week's Pillow Talk is brought to you by the Pre-Order Club. They've decided what we're going to talk about, so if you don't like it, blame them. Or join the club. <laughs> or join and the club. Have and a voice. <laughs> and we're going to be talking about bad shows that we had to watch for representation, basically when we were growing up. What are the good shows now? Well, there's so many shows. There's Supergirl, Orange is the New Black, um, Glee, Winona Earp. It just, the list goes on and on. It's, we're very fortunate that we actually have a choice now. Well, if you so, don't like the show, just don't a, watch it. Pick a different show. It's not the only show. But when we were growing up, we didn't have that luxury. We had to scrounge for any lesbian representation that we could find. Take it or leave it. Do you know what else, what else you're forgetting? YouTube. You're over here living in 2018. Like, we didn't have Queen Janelle Monet dropping albums like Dirty Computer no. representing pansexuals. People didn't know what pansexuals were when we were growing up. No. I don't even think pansexuals knew what pansexuals <laughs> were. One of the shows that we watched? South of Nowhere. And we talked about it, I think, on Pillow Talk many times I think before. we have, because that show was traumatic. Drama! Spencer and Ashley would be like in their bra and then their mom, one of the moms would catch them and like throw them out of the house. It almost made <laughs> me afraid to come out that show. Right? So most recently we have Rita Ora's song Girls that just came out, which you can decide to love or hate. But back when we were growing up, we had Tattoo. Which you just hate. When you <laughs> find out that they were actually two people pretending to, to be lesbians. Like... Pretending to be lesbian, not just singing a gay song. They were full on pretending, out pretending to be lesbians. You don't have no Haley Kyoko. Well, we did have like Katie Lang. What's that come through my window? Melissa Etheridge. <laughs> but no like pop singers. No pop singers. No like mainstream, like you'd put on the top 40 radio. It was tattoo. It was tattoo. And that was a big sensation when that came out, mainly for men. On to reality shows. Um, which we still don't have a lot of lesbian, I don't think, representation reality shows now. Like, we need the gay bachelorette. We need it. We Leave need a it. comment if we you need would it watch so badly. the lesbian bachelorette. But, um, what we did get was the bisexual bachelorette, and that is the one and only Tila Tequila. It's Tila Tequila, she's bisexual, yep. and she's trying to find love. Half, half guys, half girls. She picks a guy at the end. It's a terrible show. <laughs> Pitting men and women against each other. Uh, for the love of for the some love woman of... who has the word tequila in her name. <laughs> and I watched it. Oh yeah? I, I, I watched that it. show. I was like into it. I don't even know if half of the lesbians that she was trying to date were actual real lesbians. Mm. You probably don't know that this actually existed. Probably not. But there's a TV trope and it's called Lesbian Sweeps Week. It's the week before a network decides if a show is going to get renewed or canceled. So they need them views. They need them good ratings. What do they do? To get them good ratings, they reel in the lesbians. Hey guys, no you haven't um, watched this before because we've never really acknowledged you. <laughs> We're gonna have two girls kissing. We're gonna have our main female character realize she's bisexual or gay just for a hot, hot second. Just for one episode. One hot second. And all our views are gonna go up. I fell for it because I didn't have any lesbian oh, representation. Yeah. And I'm like, the new 90210, Jessica Lowndes is gonna be playing bisexual Ooh. for a week. With Into Rumor it. Willis? Yeah, I'm watching. <laughs> Allie McBeal in Sweet Sweet, one episode she has a dream that she kisses um, Lucy Liu's character. So she tells Lucy Liu about this dream, like it's some so you, big scant, like... You didn't even get Lesbian Sweet Sweet, you got Dream Lesbian Sweet Sweet, where well, the character wasn't even bisexual, she no, dreamt about it. She, but then they kissed... Then they did kiss. Oh, they kissed in real life. But neither bisexual. Like, it's some it's big so mystery. Different. You're kissing so a person. <laughs> like, have you ever kissed someone before? That's what it's like. Also, the OC fell for it. Um, but I'm fine falling for it, and I'll still yeah. fall for it, because it's Olivia Wilde playing a lesbian. Mm -hmm. And that went on for a little while. It was more than just a week. But I have saved the best for last. This it is 50 years ago, folks. But it was this Jolt Cola commercial where it was this couple in a convertible in like Lover's Lane and the girl asks her boyfriend, do you ever picture anyone else when you're kissing me? And he pictures this like model and he's like, no, never. 
And then he's like, do you? And she pictures the same model. And she's like, no. And then they kiss. It wasn't even two girls. It was just the idea that the girl was like fantasizing about kissing a girl. I never bought Jolt Cola, but I did watch a lot more commercials. <laughs> we grew up in the dark ages. <laughs> All right, so we watched a lot of crap. We want to know what some of the crap that you guys, if anyone's over the age of 22, basically, yeah. anyone under the age of 22, you grew you up in the golden age of lesbian this. television. For sure. Leave so. your crap in the comments. Yeah. Have you ever been jealous of one of your friends? It's really what like Nobody Famous is about. It's about how we're unable to celebrate other people's successes, which is a very prominent theme that is happening I think in the world around us, especially with like social media, where you're seeing all of your friends mm -hmm. curate their lives about yeah. how great their they're lives like, are, their lives and you get so, so jealous. Cool. They're having so much fun, and it just brings you down. Basically, what the movie is about. So, thank you guys for watching Pill Talk Monday. And if you guys want to pre-order Nobody Famous on iTunes or Vimeo, links are in the description. Comes out May 29th. Amazing. Real That's soon. soon. Thank you for watching Pillow Talk Monday. We'll see you next Monday. Goodbye.